burgers and chicken strips grown in a lab. The federal government has a rollout plan ready and supporters say it could feed the world and save the planet. But take a look for yourself. Are you willing to try it? I mean, it's just the chicken. And what are the bones? I need to make the chicken stock for the chicken noodle soup. Where are the bones at? Chef Luciano Vicentin grew up in Italy, hunting animals, butchering beef, and cooking chicken dishes for the last 50 years. So when Luci heard about meat grown in a petri dish inside a lab? God or nature did not create that chicken. That says it all. Laboratory grown burgers are nothing new. And then the impossible happened. You may have tried the impossible burger, which tastes like meat, but made only from plants, created in a lab by a former Stanford University biochemist. Now an influx of San Francisco startups are developing burgers and chicken without slaughtering a single cow or killing any chickens. Check out this promotional video from one company called Just. The company claims it's making chicken strips using just one feather from one healthy chicken. It was an out-of-body experience. Have the chicken that you're eating running around in front of you. Here is how it works. Scientists take cells from one animal and then grow those cells into a piece of meat using plants and nutrients. So it's in vitro meat is what they call it on the market. Dr. Jill Roberts teaches food safety at USF's College of Public Health and believes in vitro meat could help save the planet. When I hear about the cell burger, the really exciting pros to me is really environmental. You get rid of that greenhouse problem, you get rid of the land use problem, the water pollution problem. Dr. Roberts says lab-grown meat could also put an end to food recalls, ending the threat of salmonella and E. coli, while providing a healthier option. When you take that little cell, you're taking a cell of a muscle. The muscle doesn't have all the bad stuff that's in the meat. No cholesterol, higher protein, None of the things that people like to complain about. No antibiotics, no synthetic hormones, okay? But here's the downside. There's no connective tissue and no fat, and that's what adds the taste. Hey, I want my fat, Wendy. What are you talking about? But food scientists have already figured out a way to add the taste back in, using protein from plants. Last month, the FDA and USDA announced a partnership to regulate lab-grown meat so it can be safely sold to consumers. But how quickly will meat lovers line up to try it? It depends on who you ask. I think it'll actually get accepted quicker and sooner than people would believe. To me, I'm not ready. Well, PETA even supports the idea of this clean lab meat because it keeps farmers from killing animals and treats the animals humanely. So would you try it? Go to my Facebook page under Wendy Ryan WFTS and weigh in on my poll.